4.5 billion years ago, a giant molecular cloud collapses in space, setting free a solar nebula out of which a planet is born, Earth. For 2 billion years, this planet evolves and first life appears. A soup of cells, bacteria, algae, fungi, a myriad of plants come to life. Fish rain the oceans and eat the algae. They absorb the sunlight and store it in their bodies. Dinosaurs, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals, they all live and die. And each year, their dead bodies are covered by layers and layers of sediment. Heat and pressure rise, turning them into yellow-black liquid. Oil. Humans arrive, and with them, geologists. They study for years to find the oil and build rigs in remote places. Giant pumps extract the liquid, and it's shipped across the oceans. A refinery now cracks it open, and once again it travels. A factory then binds the compounds and turns them into plastic pellets. Stored in big containers around the world they go. Liquefied, they're molded into the shape of a beautiful spoon. The spoon drops and cools off to harden. Wrapped in plastic, it is put into a box, and the box is put on a pallet, and the pallet is put into a container, and the container is put on a truck, and the truck drives to a port, where the container is put on a ship, and ship, 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 the spoon arrives 6,000 kilometers around the world, where it is picked up by a merchant who puts it on a truck and drives it to a store, where it's placed on a shelf in a temperature-controlled room, where it sits for two months, until you select it and pay for it with the money you've worked hard for, and you drive the spoon home, which is where you are standing right now with the spoon in your hand. Now tell me, do you still think it's too much effort to use a metal spoon that you just have to wash?